Hi, welcome to that stuff, and today I'm going to be talking about this little amazing metal melting pot called the Hot Pot 2 by Palmer Production. You can buy it at like a sporting goods store. Usually people use it for like casting fishing weights, crap like that, you know. But um, I use it just for anything I want. And a lot of you guys out there might be wondering, hey, where's Evan? Where the heck is Evan? Well, Evan is just got a lot of crap on his plate, you know. He's got a lot of school stuff to do and a lot of other things to do, like homework. And it's just messing everything up. So he rarely gets to be in videos. So I've basically taken over. I mean, he, he's doing the editing. But all right. So, time to dive into the hot pot too. So, this handy little melting device I bought for 55 bucks. It's made of cast iron. It just plugs into the wall. Um, in the box, basically, is this. Um, a sand, so if you like set it up on something wood, it doesn't catch it on fire. And what else is in there? And some instructions basically saying that lead is dangerous which basically a lot of you know already. So basically what I use it for is melting zinc and lead. I want to use it for melting some tin, though tin is very hard to come by. It's so expensive, freaking heck. But um, this is a zinc ingot that I made. I have a lead ingot. It's just I didn't want to put it where we eat our food. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna tell you some stuff about this, and then hopefully we'll be able to melt the zinc. Yeah, the zinc, not the lead. I mean, it melts lead easily, but I'll just talk about some good stuff and some bad stuff about this. So, it one of my first things is it's got like a tiny cable. My freaking arm span is longer than it, so... But another thing is, I love this thing though, like, it's easy to clean, um, it's easy to transport, it's just easy everything. I mean, it holds four pounds of lead, and I've had this thing for like two or three months now, but yeah, basically that's the stuff. It's made of cast iron, plastic candle, these are the heating things, and yeah. Alright, let's get into melting the zinc. Alright, we're going to be doing that in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, we are ready to do some metal melting, and it is a pretty smoky day out here. It was really, really terrible this morning. Like, if you look in that direction, there's just like this huge cloud of smoke, just like all over there, and it's absolutely terrible. It smelled awful this morning. It's also a little windy, but um, over here, this is where I have the melting pot, as you can see right there, and there's the ingot, and we're just going to go ahead and take this quickly plug it in and then we'll plop the ingot into the what's it called pot sorry just a sec gotta do this it's necessary ah, all right just don't discriminate me for doing that and then we gotta take this other one over here but yeah so basically if you're living in a place and you don't really have that long of a, well, that good access to electricity. You're going to have a hard time working with this dude. I mean, seriously, he's got such a small extension cord. I'm not kidding. Look at that. It's just like three feet. I'm pretty sure it actually is three feet. We're just going to take this and plop it in, and we'll come back when it is melted. Alright, see ya! Alright, so a lot of the time 
I've mentioned, oh yeah, there's our dog whimpering in the background. And you guys might be wondering what our dog looks like, and this is him. He's a miniature pincher chihuahua mix. And he's cute. His name is Coda. Yeah, he is a puppy still. So he's very, very annoying sometimes. And I have also might have said, oh, um, yeah, there's the gerbils in the background. Well, these are the gerbils. Yeah, they're in their box right now, but you can see them through that. They're asleep right now. There's three of them in there. They like to dig in their corner right there. But yeah, we'll come back when the metal is melted. Yeah. All right, the metal is melted. It took about 15 or so minutes. And I also remembered one thing. A lot of people on Amazon were asking, will it melt copper or will it melt aluminum or anything like that? And the answer is no. It, it almost can't melt zinc. It's, it's pretty lucky that it can melt zinc. But... Yeah, it can't melt aluminum and copper. So the metal is melted, zinc ingot, and it is still a little bit windy. But there it is, it looks nice and molten if you can't see, because it's kind of glary today. But I'm just going to use this like chisel thing to skim the slag off the surface, so I'm going to do that really fast. Da -dum -da -dum. Trying to keep the camera focused on the metal. And FYI, I am taking good safety precautions right now. Those adults out there who are like, oh my gosh, this kid is so irresponsible. Um, he's dealing with molten metal and stuff. FYI, I am taking proper safety precautions. And you can see that shiny looking surface of the molten zinc. So I'm going to do something that I think is extremely cool. I'm going to be pouring the zinc into this can of water. And it makes like all these cool little formations. So I'm going to do that really fast. And it looks like the cable doesn't go far enough. So I'm going to move the water over here to the spot right there. Take the zinc. And I'm going to pour it. Makes a satisfying noise. There's still some zinc in there. I'll be able to clean that out afterwards. But you can just like use this and hit it down into the base of the pot. And it almost fell over. What do you know? I'm gonna let it lean. And then I'm gonna quickly unplug it as to not compromise the safety. And then we will go over and we will remove the zinc from the can, which is probably really hot right now. So, it's, it's good. It's good. It's, it's alright. This is how people who are into reloading... That's really hot. This is how people who are into reloading make shot for shotguns. You can see the cool formations down in there. But, um, there's some cool formations in there. Really cool formations. So I'm gonna pour this out. You can hear the metal. And then see the cool formations we got. Woo! That is cool! I love how shiny zinc is after you've cast it. Look, there's just like this little piece of it right there. This is a good way of making beads for element collections and stuff like that, you know? But yeah, this is a huge blob of it. It's really shiny. There's just some other tiny little pieces here. But yeah, I hope you liked the video. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to your friends. See you around.